Imagine a system where passenger or cargo pods travel through a network of low pressure tubes. Reducing air resistance drastically allows these pods to achieve incredibly high speeds, potentially exceeding 1,000 kilometers per hour. Around 620 miles per hour, think of it, like a train inside a giant vacuum cleaner tube, minimizing friction and allowing for rapid transit. This is the idea of Hyperloop, a system for ultra-high-speed ground travel in near-vacuum tubes isn't entirely new, with roots in 18th and 19th century pneumatic transport concepts and early 20th century visions. However, it was Elon Musk's comprehensive Hyperloop Alpha white paper in 2013 that truly ignited the modern interest and development in this technology. By open-sourcing his design, Musk spurred a global race to turn this futuristic concept into a tangible reality. While traditional transportation systems experience friction with wheels and air, Hyperloop aims for much greater energy efficiency compared to traditional high-speed rail or air travel over comparable distances by operating in a low-pressure environment. If successful and widely adopted, the Hyperloop, with its unique tube-based high-speed operation, could become the fifth major mode of transportation, distinct from road, rail, water, and air. If we discuss about Hyperloop working function or how it runs, then first we have no more about few key points, tubes, pods, backing system, levitation system, and propulsion system. Tubes, these are large sealed structures, cylindrical metal pieces welded side by side up and down, which allow the capsule to travel on both sides. Typically made of steel or concrete, these tubes are supported with an open pillar, similar to the metro pillar you must have seen. The minimum distance between each pillar must be 30 meters for best support. The outer part of the tube will be covered with solar panels for renewable energy generation and provides power to the whole system, resulting in minimal cost of operation. Pods or capsules. These are the vehicles that carry passengers or cargo within the tubes. They have an aerodynamic design to minimize drag. Pods contain passenger compartments and potentially systems like air compressors and batteries. Vacuum system, a network of powerful vacuum pumps, is essential to create and maintain the low pressure environment within the tubes. This system needs to continuously remove air that leaks in or is released by materials. Levitation system, Hyperloop pods are designed to float above the track to eliminate friction. This is primarily achieved using magnetic levitation, maglev, employing powerful magnets to repel and propel the pods. It is based on tube and transported by electric propulsion through a low pressure tube and floats above the track using magnetic levitation. Due to free air resistance or friction, it moves fast. Traveling at such high speeds within the internal tube facilitated by magnetic levitation could reduce travel time from hours to mere minutes. Moreover, this zero emission technology promises a future of safe and sustainable transportation, potentially transforming the industry with a highly efficient and cost-effective mode. As of today, India and several countries in Europe, particularly the Netherlands and Spain, appear to have significant ongoing development and testing activities in the Hyperloop field. China is also pursuing its own high-speed vacuum tube transport technology. At the end, we don't know exactly what will happen, but I am very excited. So what do you think about this technology? Share your comment.